As of April 1st, 2020, new SNAP regulations, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program will be put in place. SNAP is also sometimes referred to as food stamps. The new SNAP regulations state that able-bodied adults not taking care of someone will have to work 20 hours per week. This is going to cause 700,000 Americans to lose their SNAP benefits, equating to over 6 billion meals in a decade. This is six times the number of meals New York City's food bank supplied in 35 years. This policy change is as if someone took away the, the food for all of Washington, D.C. The U.S. government is not addressing hunger in a beneficial way and is causing unnecessary hunger for those who rely on SNAP. One woman named Brooke Ross shared her story. As a teenager, she was hungry and said how embarrassing it was for her to ask for food because of the social stigma around asking for help. She also said how hard it was for her to not know where her next meal was going to come from. According to Feeding America, she was one of 25% of food insecure children relying fully on food stamps. Studies show that students fighting hunger are more likely to be held back, have a hard time learning, have social behavioral issues, and many more hurdles in their educational careers. The, the, the guidelines the U.S. government is putting in place is going to tear down many of these children. Requiring 20 hours of work each week is a huge change for some people who rely on SNAP. Currently, you are eligible for SNAP if you are unemployed but actively looking for a job. Now you have to be currently working at a time when millions of Americans have lost their job due to COVID-19. The new requirements will not decrease the amount of unemployment, but more likely will reduce the number of people eligible for food SNAP benefits. People who rely on SNAP are college students or have many other reasons to rely on SNAP for food, and many of them are not able to work for 20 hours per week. They're going to be left with no assistance and no food. I urge you to write to your elected officials and tell them to oppose the new SNAP regulations and remove the 20 hour per week work requirement. You can help locally by supporting local food organizations. According to Feeding America, if you donate one dollar, they will supply 10 meals for people who are hungry. I also urge you to encourage people struggling with hunger to ask for help. Or if they ask you for help, support them and treat them kindly, because the stigma around being hungry is not going to help our nation overcome this battle. I hope that in the future, people will not be embarrassed to ask for help because of social stigmas, and the government will provide food for them no matter how long they are able to work. This country is founded on people helping each other, no matter what they ask for, no matter how long they work.